Our top story this afternoon, the UN Security Council has come down hard on North Korea, unanimously condemning the regime for its recent attempt to test fire a ballistic missile. This comes as the council is currently in the process of drawing up even stronger sanctions on Pyongyang for its September 9th nuclear test. Kwon Soa starts us off. Calling it a grave violation of international obligations under numerous UN Security Council resolutions, the 15 members of the Council strongly condemned North Korea's failed medium-range Musudan missile launch that it conducted Saturday. After holding an emergency meeting in New York Monday local time, Russia's ambassador to the UN, who is the president of the Council for this month, released a press statement that said the members of the Council deplore all of Pyongyang's ballistic missile activities and that such contribute to the regime's nuclear weapons delivery systems development and raise tension. The statement further stressed that the Council regrets that the regime is behaving this way while the North Korean people's needs are unmet. The members of the Council also asked for all UN member states to redouble their efforts in the implementation of existing sanctions on North Korea. The UN Security Council is currently discussing even heavier measures on North Korea ever since its fifth nuclear test conducted last month. In Washington, the U.S. denounced North Korea's latest provocation with similar words, saying the test violates UN Security Council resolutions which explicitly forbid such launches. White House spokesperson Josh Ernest also pointed out that threats like these are the reason why the U.S. and South Korea have been cooperating in talks regarding the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD in South Korea. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.